was the lust for gold that first made the region we see below us a place of huge historical significance. The place we know today as Three Valley Gap. Back in 1865, explorer and surveyor Walter Moberly was hacking his way through the Canadian bush, trying to find a route suitable for a wagon road, a route desperately needed to connect the fortune seekers along the Columbia River to the Shuswap Lakes. Standing atop Mount Moody, sharp-eyed Moberly noticed eagles winging their way through what is now appropriately called Eagle Pass. He had found the way through, but never suspected how momentous his discovery was to be. For by 1885, just 20 years after the sighting of those soaring eagles, the Canadian Pacific Railway roared through Moberly's Eagle Pass to become the first transcontinental railway in Canada, an event preceded by the driving home of the famous Last Spike at Craigalachie. The dream of a Northwest Passage had become a reality. Now Canada offered the world a direct route stretching from the eastern seaboard to the Pacific, a road of steel helping to connect the markets of Europe and Asia. The pioneer builders and achievers responsible for cutting their way through Eagle Pass played a major role in the opening of the West. Three Valley became an important section house, replenishing the great steam locomotives with water after they had ascended the steep nearby grades. So by the year 1956, it's no wonder that such a significant geographical and historical point of Canada would attract the Bell family of new pioneers with a similar entrepreneurial vision. The Trans-Canada Highway was under construction, and by 1960, Gordon and Ethel Bell opened a seven-room motel and coffee shop together with a small museum. By the end of the 70s, highway travelers had a choice of over 100 rooms at their fast-growing establishment. Today, the magnificent 200-room Three Valley Lake Chateau and Three Valley Gap Heritage Ghost Town invite visitors to relax and enjoy the hospitality of the Bell family and to discover the best of the region's many outstanding historic, scenic, and recreational attractions while staying in one spectacular location. As you're about to discover, Three Valley Gap is more than just an historic destination. It's your launch pad from which to explore a world-famous environment, crammed with awesome natural as well as man-made sightseeing experiences. Being located on the Trans-Canada Highway between Vancouver, the Rockies and Calgary makes Three Valley Gap the most convenient and accessible stopover location for both individual visitors and tour operators. From the moment you arrive at Three Valley Lake Chateau and Three Valley Gap Heritage Ghost Town, you get a sense of its history, the feeling of being set down in the middle of natural and human-inspired immensities. Yes, when you're looking for the real thing, this is it. This is the place where the first freight trains rumbled through the valley. They still do, hauling their cargoes and containers of coal, wheat, automobiles, lumber and much more to and fro through the Rockies to the coasts on either side of this vast continent. So on behalf of Gordon and Ethel Bell, allow us to show you around. The lobby introduces you to the spacious, comfortable and casual setting guests enjoy throughout the establishment. Accommodating you is a priority and they do it in style. All of the 200 rooms enjoy spectacular views and overlook the beautiful landscaped Bell Gardens. The cave and the Eagle's Nest accommodations draw guests from all over the world. For honeymooners, the cave continues to be the most popular and certainly the most unusual suite. This exceptionally private and intimate hideaway is constructed entirely from the local rock, right down to the bathtub and basin. A small bench window with a garden view completes the picture. And for those with a head for heights, the Chateau offers the Eagle's Nest, a two-level suite on the uppermost floors of the hotel. The main loft-style room features a king-sized bed, a mini kitchen in the adjoining living area, and a spacious air-tub-equipped bathroom. 
A spiral staircase takes you to a contemplation area on the upper floor. From here, there's an uninterrupted view in every direction. All very relaxing and rewarding. Without a doubt, when it comes to accommodating you, the Chateau and Ghost Town has everything to offer you, including its unique geographic location on the Trans-Canada Highway, the perfect jumping off point to many outstanding places of interest. Yes, staying at the Chateau lets you venture out on day trips to literally hundreds of unforgettable places. So for the next few minutes, let's check out some of the many attractions that lie beyond your home base at the Three Valley Lake Chateau, places that make this amazing region of British Columbia unique and so famous. As an opener, and because it passes right beside the Chateau, let's follow the Trans-Canada Highway to Revelstoke. They're waiting for you, and for good reason, because this Alpine city has a lot to show for itself. A beautiful downtown restoration for you to explore. Grizzly Plaza is the place to be entertained and have fun. Historical buildings are everywhere, as many as 60 of them. The Railway Museum displays the major role Revelstoke played in the founding of Canada with exhibits of its historic railroad activities and present-day operations. Unique shops abound. Whatever you need, you're bound to find it here. Then there's the first time you discover the beauty of Mount Revelstoke and Glacier National Parks an important and protected region of Canada's natural heritage. A great area to go hiking and take nature in its stride. You're looking down at Revelstoke Dam as it spans the Columbia River, one of North America's largest and most modern hydroelectric developments, located just five kilometers north of Revelstoke. As a visitor to this spectacular site, you can tour the multi-level exhibit areas and enjoy a brief history lesson on how and why the dam was built. Now we move east of Revelstoke, along the Trans-Canada Highway to Canyon Hot Springs, a great place to relax and unwind in their soothing mineral pools. Another easy route from Three Valley Lake Chateau takes you to Nacusp, you enjoy a free car ferry ride to Galena Bay as you cross Upper Arrow Lake before continuing along Highway 23 and the opportunity to enjoy the Halcyon and Nacusp Hot Springs. Looking for enchantment? Look no further than the magical setting of the enchanted forest on the Trans-Canada Highway just west of Three Valley. For young and old, there are big surprises around every corner of this scenic wonderland, including an inspirational nature walk. While in the neighborhood, pay a special visit to the Crazy Creek Waterfalls and Suspension Bridge. There's nothing like the sensation of walking across the 240-foot span as the falls roar beneath you. Also in the neighborhood, you'll find Griffin Lake Lodge. Here, leaving the beaten track means something special. It's the experience of taking a Hummer Wilderness Safari aboard the world's most luxurious and fun functional 4x4 SUV, the amazing Hummer H2. In minutes, you'll be whisked to breathtaking elevations high in the Monashi Mountains. These two-hour tours focus on finding, observing, and letting you photograph wildlife, alpine wildflowers, and the panoramic vistas that BC's Monashi Mountains are famous for. While you're in the vicinity, here's another unique attraction. This time at Kragaliki, the historic location of the famous last spike we told you about earlier. Here you'll find one of Canada's most irreplaceable and endearing attractions, Beardale Miniature Land. Years of painstaking research and craftsmanship come to life in a series of model villages, all meticulously created in scaled-down detail, complete with working trains and model cable cars. No question, there's something very special here to delight both young and old alike. Over 150 authentic, handcrafted buildings, each reflecting the traditions and romance of a bygone era. Highlights include a Canadian prairie town of the 50s, 
an English Tudor village, medieval German town, Swiss mountain village, last spike heritage display, Haida Indian village, a Japanese temple and sand garden, and countless other scaled reproductions depicting model railways, farm scenes, city life, circus settings, and colorful fantasy land characters, all in motion. Today, Beardale is under the care and respect of Three Valley Gap Chateau. It remains a testament to creator Herb Elgin's commitment to cultural awareness and heritage preservation. Visit the gift shop for information about the exhibits. Have a few speed demons in your family? Well, here's a safe place to let them loose. Speedway Fast Cars promises you a go-kart racing experience you won't soon forget. Located just a few kilometers east of Malacqua on the Trans-Canada Highway. Now that you've seen a few of the local sites, how about a day trip to the historic O'Keefe Ranch in Vernon? Among the many heritage buildings, visitors can take a guided tour of the original O'Keefe House, the general store, and the blacksmith shop. Now it's time to head for the beach, or should we say beaches, as we get ready to visit one of British Columbia's most sought after summer playgrounds. We're talking about the Shuswap Lakes, of course. From Three Valley Lake Chateau, it's only 56 kilometers to Sycamuse and nearby Cinnamus and Narrows, where the four arms of this expansive lake system meet. It's your gateway to over a thousand kilometers of shoreline, sandy beaches, and warm, clean water. Sycamus, known as the houseboat capital of Canada, is also your embarkation point for a Shuswap Lake cruise aboard the famous Phoebe Ann Stern Wheeler. While in Sycamus, you owe it to yourself and the kids to visit D. Dutchman Dairy. It's more than just the delicious ice cream you go for, it's where you'll find an amazing collection of friendly animals in a zoo-like setting. When your visit to the Shuswap coincides with the Adams River Sockeye Salmon Run, there's no way you can leave the region without experiencing the unforgettable display that Mother Nature puts on as the coastal salmon come home to spawn. It's one of the largest spawning runs in the world. After all this fun and activity, you must be ready to take it easy back in your comfortable accommodation at Three Valley Lake Chateau. That might be harder than you think, because there's a lot to tempt you just a few steps outside your room. For example, when hunger gets the better of you, your hosts Gordon and Ethel Bell offer you the choice of the Monashi family dining room, a self-serve cafeteria, and for special events, the Holyrood train car dining room. Or perhaps you just want to relax, in which case be their guest at the heated indoor pool and whirlpool. It's where you catch your first glimpse of the huge mural of the Titanic that stretches the length of the pool. For entertainment, don't miss the Moberly Theater. Live stage performances are a regular feature in this 300-seat theater. Upstairs, the gallery offers guests a permanent collection of outstanding artifacts and antiques, ranging from arrowheads to pianos, organs, early telephones and gramophones. Staying at the Three Valley Lake Chateau gives you and your family many ways to have fun. Bring your own equipment for ATVing, water skiing, sailing, fishing, swimming, and windsurfing. There's a children's play area and a sandy beach too. Get airborne and soar above the splendor of the Monashi Mountains. Take a heli sightseeing tour of some of the most spectacular scenery you will ever see. Within a 20 minute drive to Revelstoke, a beautiful 18-hole par 72 Riverside golf course awaits you. Three Valley Lake Chateau takes very good care of you. It also takes good care of itself. By that we mean that it's very self-contained and offers guests a world of its own. Everything is here, right down to the guest laundromat and fully stocked souvenir and gift shop. Most rooms sport their very own private balcony with a beautiful view of the scenic gardens. This independent spirit shows up in some unexpected ways. For example, in 1980, 
After BC Hydro quoted just under half a million dollars to bring power to the isolated site, Gordon Bell and his family decided to take the initiative to design and build their own completely independent power source for their property. Today, two dams supply a sufficient head of water to provide all the electrical needs of Three Valley Gap. No meter readers needed around here. By now, you may have gotten the idea that the Bell family follows in the footsteps of those early pioneers by using their initiative and ingenuity to having the vision to see things through. You'd be right, and nothing demonstrates this vision more than the first time you pay a visit to the Three Valley Gap Heritage Ghost Town. A short walk from your room and you suddenly find yourself back in the early part of the last century. Now put yourself, if you will, in the shoes of one of those early homesteaders, the first settlers in the Three Valley Gap region. Most communities had at least one saloon in those days and also proudly contained many other buildings to support and provide services and sustenance to the community. Three Valley Gap Heritage Ghost Town is the real thing. Each and every one of its over 25 historic buildings was either in use or is an exact replica often using original materials from the heydays of its existence. They include homestead houses from the surrounding areas and Kregaliki School, a one-room schoolhouse built in 1902, opposite where the last spike was driven. It was still in use until 1942 and moved to Three Valley in 1964. Taking the guided tour is a great way to learn and relive the history of this region. It's also a fantastic picture-taking opportunity for all you camera and video enthusiasts. The three-story Hotel Bellevue was originally built in 1898 in Sycamus, with much of its business coming from its proximity to the Canadian Pacific Railway, which ran a branch line to the Okanagan from the main line at Sycamus. Gordon Bell bought it in 1964, tore it down board by board, and re-erected it in this ghost town where it stands today. It's much the same for all the other outstanding buildings of early settler life. St. Stephen's Church, built in Donald, B.C. in 1886, is still used by all denominations since being moved to Three Valley Gap. The jail and sheriff's office, built in the 1890s, is constructed of logs hewn by Finnish craftsmen with broad axes. It was moved to the ghost town in 1964. Horse-drawn buggies and wagons were once commonplace for both private and commercial use. And at the buggy and wagon shop, you'll see industrial wagons used to transport coal, lumber, fuel oil, gravel, and groceries until 1945. And every town in the days before the automobile had at least one blacksmith shop. Same for the watchmaker. Keeping railroad timepieces and station clocks accurate was an important part of running the railroad. Peer through the windows or look inside these heritage buildings and you'll find them chock-a-block with artifacts of the period. For antique and history buffs, it's hard to pull yourself away. Built in 1862, the Halfway House is the oldest historic building in Three Valley Gap. Older, in fact, by five years than the Confederation of Canada on July 1, 1867. Today, the Halfway House is the venue for groups having dinner in the ghost town. Other highlights of the guided tour include the Antique Auto Museum, where you'll find lovingly restored originals dating from 1902 to 1929. That's right, 1902. This is the first mass-produced car in North America, the 1902 Curve Dash Olds. Incidentally, the Oldsmobile is no longer being made, so another proud name has driven off into the sunset. Before the automobile, with its dramatic and compelling attraction of individual transportation, there was, of course, the age of steam. And because the legacy of the steam engine and the railroad are inextricably linked to the founding and existence of Three Valley Gap, it's no wonder the Bell family has preserved so much of its heritage. You enter the Railway Museum through this magnificent structure, a replica of a distinguished hotel originally built in Revelstoke. 
an impressive variety of railroad displays, leads you to the Bell family's amazing new roundhouse, home to a growing collection of historic rolling stock and steam engines. This vintage 1922 040 locomotive is the close mechanical relative of Andrew Onderdonk's number two locomotive used on CPR construction in the 1880s. Onderdonk completed the CPR rails from Port Moody to Krigaliki in September 1885. Then there's this exciting restoration of a 1914 262 Baldwin steam locomotive with its distinctive cabbage smokestack. The Caribou business car started life as a dining car in 1929. Built by American Car and Foundry for Missouri Pacific Railroad, it is reputed to have once belonged to P.T. Barnum of Barnum and Bailey Circus fame. The Pacific Great Eastern Railway, the predecessor to BC Rail, bought it in 1964 and used it as a business car under her present name. We, uh, we got an awful lot of their jacks. I think we've got up to a 100 ton jack, which is, of course, you know, in, initially in the railway, they had, uh, it was all manpower. You go up to a train wreck and there'd be hundreds of men out there jacking. And There's more, as you discover the coach repair and pattern shops, and more private and business coaches. For all you railroad enthusiasts, the Roundhouse is a must-see experience. You'll have a busy time just keeping up with all that Three Valley Lake Chateau has to offer, let alone all the attractions in the surrounding area. Truth is, you won't find another destination anything like it between here and the West Coast, or between here and places far away and over the Rockies. Where else are you this close to Canada's great railroading days of the past? this close to where they hammered in the last spike on the country's first transcontinental railway, and this comfortable and entertained for the price of an overnight stay. Your hosts, Gordon and Ethel Bell, and their dedicated family members and staff are proud of what they have to offer you at Three Valley Lake Chateau and Three Valley Gap Heritage Ghost Town. Plan now to make Three Valley Gap an important part of your next travel itinerary. Ask your travel agent or tour operator for complete details and up-to-the-minute information about all that's new and exciting about Three Valley Gap. And remember, for outstanding hospitality and the assurance of a memorable stay, the Bell family are your friends and promise you a great time.